How's it going guys? Miller 55 back with another video. Um, so we're in the uh, Chevy SS and uh, we just, uh, we've started a little bit later than normal. Um, just doing a couple of minute views and stuff like that. But uh, yeah, all sorted. A um, little bit of a plot twist here as such, but if you guys are watching this episode, um, I am <clears throat> about to upload the teaser trailer to episode 57 later tonight, so <laughs> just to let that little time warp sit in for you. <laughs> but uh, yeah, so getting that done later tonight, and then um, I think I will finish off by editing episode, f I think it'll be 59 that I'm editing after Patrol. <clears throat> got a couple of bits of admin to do, got some exciting... Uh, things in play for CRP. I need to get used to calling it CRP, not DPSRP now, guys. So, please forgive me if I do call it DPSRP. We are now CRP, Continental Roleplay. <coughs> As uh, shown in the title, obviously. <coughs> um, so, yeah, no. I um, got a couple of things in play. We've just had a CM meeting as well. So, uh, yeah. <laughs> Exciting stuff going ahead, guys. We're also looking at... Um, <coughs> well, you know what? No, I'm going to... I'll keep it on I'll keep it on the download for now, guys, because loose lips sink ships, all that good stuff. So, yeah. Right. Um, don't know what's going to happen, so we'll just see things, how they get on, and uh, if anything exciting happens, then hopefully we might get... Uh, another epic edit like we did on episode 57. Right, guys? <clears throat> but, uh, yeah. Right. Um, also, um, I'm doing a little bit of an MLO review, guys, just to make sure certain MLOs are still working in the server. So this is sort of like a patrol slash beta test. So forgive me for that, but we will obviously still be answering calls for service, etc., etc. So, yeah, please don't hate me. <laughs> Incoming 911. Oh, there we go. Explode. Oh. <laughs> Got the one on where I'm right to last. Tinger Charlie 10, I'll be in route. New dispatch 8135. Ginger ST forward slash South Rockford DR 8126. Charlie 1FRS on this channel. We're aware of the call. 10 4, just checking, thank you. on sync. <coughs> now I've got my walk again. Alright, what do you reckon we have a word with the uh, gas station attendants? 
I would probably <laughs> wait for fire to get here just to confirm everything. Okay. I'm not saying anything that's either, the first thing so. that I done, but... Was there no one in the gas station? Uh, from when I first rolled up, it was just like this. Right, okay. Medic 7's gonna be on scene, nothing showing at this time. Fire 1 will have Ginger Street Command. Jolly one fire one be advised myself and uh, 410 aren't seeing anything either. 10 4 engine 7, pull over there. Yep, where you're going. Hmm. Right, I'm gonna have a word, I'm gonna have a word inside, I think. If I can get Elio to shut down the road behind the engine, please. Tomic, you saw that, please. Oh, okay. The hell? Car in front of me just disappeared for some random reason. The hell? Alright. Oops. So, enjoys the Department of Public Safety. Anyone in here? Seven, more to affect supply line. Don't pull line. So let's get a search completed of the area and interior. <coughs> Stop it. Therefore, also bring a thermal imager and a heat gun with you. I'm not seeing anyone in here, mate. <clears throat> yeah, I got frost. Uh, yeah, Lucas, bring me a heat gun and thermal imager. <sighs> I could ask, mate. Chief, here you go. Yep. Thermal imaging and heat gun. I don't exactly know what you want me to do with them, so. Okay. <clears throat> um, take the thermal imager, just search around the area for anything, any hot spots. I'll take the heat okay. gun to the outside. Let you do okay. the inside. Cool. Tango Charlie 10 to units on the scene of the LTD. It's going to be a gas bomb. Agent 7, you can disregard that last order. People would know if a gas pump exploded. Yeah. Yeah. Not just this User in your channel so timed dude. out. This was missing a hose. Someone just driven off with the gas. What? The gas hose still in it? Well, it looks like. Oh, yeah, fuck's sake. Grab a plug. Yeah. User joined your channel. <laughs> Do you need anything from me? Alright, I'm going to clear off then. Charlie 1, I'm going to be uh, code 4 from this call. I'll be back tonight. Judy of Care is going to be left with the uh, fire and rescue at this time. <coughs> Fire one, hey, did you leave the keys in the medic?
Well, that was interesting. <clears throat> Fire one dispatch. All three units are going to be cleared from the scene. It's going to be transferred back to LEO. It appears that the vehicle may have taken off after peeling up without paying. Charlie 1 returning to scene. <laughs> If you want to investigate anymore, but it looks like they may have drove off, <clears throat> maybe without paying. I I, I haven't checked with the clerk or anything, but right. I mean they took the hose with them. So. Right. Okay. I'll um I'll go check with the clerk. See what uh see what they say. Okay. okay. Cheers, mate. We're clearing off. Yep. No worries. Thank you. Okay. So looks like there is something to investigate here. Hmm. Command, dispatch, all units Incoming 911. Dollar <clears throat> 1410. Can you answer that next number one, please? I'll ascertain details here. Any other LEO units available? 499. 499 to uh, back 4 10, please. Oh. Seven, any available LEO unit? Three five four. Three five four. I'm following a dump truck. We're going to be eastbound Vespucci Boulevard at Strawberry now. He's leaking his load all over the highway. 
Follow one to four ten four nine nine. Be advised. Uh, <clears throat> number plate for this blue panto is going to be Bravo Lima uniform Echo. I'm also going to take the opportunity. Uh, for German, for system. Uh, yes, yes, if you can, please. Show me 1011 8177 with a uh, dump truck now 32 to meet it. Okay, I'll go after the uh, blue panto then. There we go. It's got an AMPR hit uh, for that blue pan, so it's going to be Popular Street and Hang Away, North Eastbound. Charlie 1, I'm coming off at... Olympic Freeway onto Popular Street. I'm going to try and intercept this vehicle. Jesus Christ. Four tens on our own. Hey, uh, Kev, head down, uh, head further down, uh, the block, head south, see if you can pick it up there. I'm gonna check alleyways. Other one, if we can, let's get units towards the Cypress Flats area, please, for an area search. And for show 354, gonna head to the Cypress Flats. Incoming one, 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 one. one. I got the vehicle 9300 South Shambles Street. Ah, oh, it's just around the corner. It's like running around. <laughs> Shot that one somewhere. Shot that one, sorry, three.
Four ten on the on ten eleven ninety three hundred South Shambo Street on the two door blue and color Panto. Place gonna be Bravo Lima Uniform Echo. I believe time zone additional. Occupants not additional. Charlie one four ten, just pull it up just ever so slightly so traffic can keep flowing, please. God, this is taking the piss. Oh, fuck it. They're moving at the moment into the parking lot. The gas handle, the pump handle that's currently hanging out of your gas cap, along with there was a 911 call put in place about a vehicle that's matching the description that ripped the gas pump off the. You know what you would want to call it. Gas hand off the pump. Uh, okay. Care to explain why you continue to drive off with it instead of simply getting out and removing the handle and reporting it to the employees? Didn't even know. You didn't notice? Okay. Nope. You got license or insurance proof of insurance on you? Yeah, I guess. Alrighty, I appreciate it. Uh, just head back to my vehicle and we'll get sort of uh, situated. If everything checks out fine, I'll just simply remove the handle myself and get you on your way, okay? Okay. Advised, there is another one of those trucks on the hill at the end of Capitol Boulevard. Um, next to Station 7. Kev, do you want me to add to that? Well, no, no, I'm pretty good. Cool. <laughs> hey, Hamilton, do you want me to add to that? As soon as I'm around the corner. Yeah. Did the uh, LTD employees say that they had... Go for 354. I'm sorry, second. Did the uh, employees at the LTD say that they, I guess, was a suspicious thing for a possible theft or anything? Or? No, I believe it was literally just he drove off too quick. <laughs> Alright, yeah, I'm just gonna let him go then. I'll just remove it and return it back to the LTD. Alright, mate, no worries. Accidents happen. Shit, right. Okay, fair enough, mate. I'm gonna go see what this commotion is at Station 7, mate. Station 7. That's received, I'm still on right. User joined your channel.
Charlie, uh, be clear of the traffic stop. I received the handle from the gas pump. Hi, Laura. Howdy. <laughs> so they're not actually blocking the uh, bays then? <clears throat> no, not anymore. Okay. They, 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 uh, the one with the uh, black colored wheels <laughs> did everything the firefighter said, and I told her you have 30 seconds to move it either into a parking spot or I tell her so. That's fair enough. Alright, no worries. About this red zone in particular. It's not on the hydrant. Yeah. Cool. They listened. <laughs> yeah, good work. It's not in the Alright, Laura, no worries. It's on the corner, yep. it breaks in the hydrant, and then it, then it starts again. I'll have to have the map maker uh, fix that. <laughs> I'll say. Uh, Briggs, if they, if they keep doing it, let us know, and we'll come back. Uh, I, I mean, if they come over and hang out with us, it's whatever, as long as they park in a parking spot. Yeah, as long as they don't block you in. Yeah, as long as they don't block the bays either. Then. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh, one's out. One's yep. gone. Had enough of their fun, big oh. fun truck, and wants to use their legs. I, I'm gonna hey. go uh, back to hiding. Uh, hiding for problems. Coffee. No, I got like five investigations I'm trying to <laughs> oh, shit, no, it's half get head. solved. Damn. Mike was saying something about a bunch of investigations that he was supposed to help you with, but, you know, locals are assholes. Oh, is that how he broke his leg? Got ran over! Mm -hmm. <laughs> got ran over. <laughs> he got ah. ran over calling a medic for a guy he shot. What the hell? <laughs> nice. <laughs> yeah. Only he could ac accomplish a mission like that. Mm -hmm. It wasn't for like Steve Pulp now, was it? No, it was a full on local. <laughs> God damn. Full on local. The, the story I got when I got on scene, because I just I heard it over the pager, um, is when I got there, uh, who was there? I believe uh, Deputy was Frost. There. Deputy Azrael was there, and uh, somebody else. He, I think it was a trooper, <laughs> another one. Yeah, one of them dancing on that truck. <clears throat> nice. Hey man, they're off the road. It's not mm -hmm. your problem. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Technically it is, but so, it's not. It's not worth your time to go up there. And... No, exactly. But they're not, doing any, they're not hurting anybody or anything, right? No, exactly. That's why I'm not bothering them. But... Found your panto. That being said, oh yeah, I see that. But yeah, no, it's like, certainly I There's could. Oh, never mind. Uh oh, uh oh, oh. Oh, oh! Selfie bomb! Um. Wow, what? <laughs> Whoa! Yes, please. Get out of the truck now! Charlie One is ramming us. Why are my weapons not? Surely one of my vehicles going to be disabled, I'm out. <coughs> Dreadnought's rolling from DPS HQ. Can you give me, uh, give me 20s, please? 9332, did you get into another one? <laughs>
got one of the drivers out of that vehicle. I can't help. It's cool one. Now! I gave you one more fucking chance. Show me your hand. Jalo and I got eyeball on the driver. BCSO SRT, show me your fucking hands now. As they're out cold, mate. Move your ass! Get away from me, this is illegal. I'm dealing with a separate individual. I didn't do anything. No, don't touch me. Get away from me. You did not do anything. I didn't do anything, no! You idiot! Get the fuck away from me! I didn't do anything! Get away from me! I'm not leaving the scene! I just don't want to be near you! Yeah, because you're a two feet away from me, idiot. You were way too far away from me. Oh, you were too far me <sighs> Alright, just keep tabs on the driver, let Laura do her thing. Hudson, you're in cross, mate. Move around to the south. Hey, we need medics. Medics, you're in a position to uh, respond. Stand by. I think they're prepping one of the medics. Oh, what the medic 7 out of service, transfer medic 3 to station 7. For now. A lot closer than I thought it was. Charlie 1 medic 3, can we have you uh, expedite to station 7, please? Just to the east, we've got an RTC. Elio involved, trying to stop this vehicle. Step on medic 3, around, code 3. Right, if one of you wants to uh, help Laura, I'm gonna get Dreadnought back to base. Alrighty. Serious. God damn. <clears throat> right, what are we in? Uh, Chevy SSI. We'll go with the uh, Charger now, seeing as that's the only other thing that's a near enough answer to it. Fuck it, we'll do the slip top charger actually. Turn into scene. Mm. 
Yeah, I need splints. Get backboard ready. We're gonna see Kyler backboard. You all get that, Briggs. You need a hand. Might need a hand. Get her down out of here. All right. Yeah. Once uh, the Lucas brings the backboard. backboard. I got it. All right. That's yeah. Uh, yeah, I... I'm Frost Brother. Hi. Yeah, I know. I I I couldn't remember your name. Alright, here's the oh, splint right. in the mid bag. Thank you. Yeah, I couldn't read those splints. Alright, I'm going to stand off to towards the exhaust and hopefully not burn my butt do me to move and do you want me to move mate yeah ah. hopefully it's just a play exhaust oh we'll grab c spine okay, kind of uh i need someone to grab backboard put under her butt Hold the head of the backboard, then I'll bring her head out and hand it off to somebody. I can brace the backboard. I'm you gonna... want me to get <laughs> in the other side? Yeah, you can. I got seat spine. There you go. Okay. I'll take seat spine because I want to bring her head out first. Alright. You adjust her legs to bring her legs up as we're sliding her up on the backboard. Alright, got it. There we go. On count of three. Shield, where you at? Can you grab right, the seat yeah. spine? Yeah. Coming down to you on three. Two, one, there you go. Legs up. All right, I'm gonna grab her waist and move her up. Mm -hmm. And check her. Check her pelvis here quick. Make sure it's intact. Sliding up on three, two, yep. one. Go up. And lower. It's not an officer down. I thought it was. No. Animal attack, mate. Murder kitties out here. Mm. Alright. Alright, patient's backboard. I'll get her in a medic and I'll do a 12 lead there. Frost, if you want to start working on the uh, second patient. <laughs> well, if you don't mind, help me carry her to the medic. Go for yeah, it. I'll help, Joe. Whoever, yeah. I don't care. <laughs> I'll take that someone could help Frost too. Yeah. Yeah. Three, two, one, lift. Two to medic.
after taking her to uh you go in the pillbox with a head injury. Alright. Harper 81 to one of the LEO over by the medic. Can you grab a med bag from that medic unit and bring it over to me? Give me a sec, Briggs. Yep. Thank you. Uh, you got it. Yeah. Okay, hi, how's it going? Been better. Can I get your, can I get your name hey, off Hey, Frost. Thank you. Garrett? Okay, cool. Yeah, he, he wasn't involved with the whole chase. It was the other one. Yeah, yeah. Oh, you're not here. 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 you are No plates or anything, so. No? I no, can't see any. Hang on. This is laying around the back. No, none. That'll explain why they didn't take them on the road then. <clears throat> smart. Dumb but smart. Shit, yeah, right? Plus 09 for 20. If you want to go ahead and get <coughs> County Tote for that monster next to your Camaro, as well as Topia Camaro. Piper 81, thank you. I'm going to use Rescue 5 to try to deal with these vehicles, please disable them fully before they get transported to stop any fires. Haha! Rescue 5 will be around. Rescue 5 will be around. Hey, there we go. Yeah, that's update on that second patient. Advise, I'm checking for other injuries. His pupils are fine from the tumble. Um, apart from the bite, it's just going to be uh, just a deep, uh, deep bite mark on his right arm around his elbow area. I'm going to lift it up just to finish it. Four, I have medic five in your in route to you.
Guys, can someone start? Um, can someone start county tow for both the trucks as well, please? Yeah, I'll get them, sir. Three, five, four. Can I get county uh, or correct? Hudson, run me a couple of IDs when ready, please. Um, issue with that. I've got an issue with my uh, CAD. It's not letting me log in. Really? Do slash CAD refresh, mate, see if that helps. I'll give it a go. Yeah. I'm gonna go for it. First name of Garrett. Golf Alpha Romeo Romeo Echo Tango. Second name of Mason Mike Alpha Sierra Oscar November. Not sure if it's me or does this uh, it's my system. Yeah, it's not it's not working for me. No? Alright. Alright, not somebody else. That's right, I'll try it. I have yet to find any more mounting murder kiddies. Um, well, stick around. I'm going to take uh, Hamilton back to the station with me in the Bearcat. Really? Um, yeah, I'll do that. I'm kind of getting bothered by 121 on my phone right now. <laughs> Warning, about right. violent, mental health, <laughs> drugs, <laughs> theft, robbery, re-offender, parole. that the individual that we took out of that black and blue truck was a female named Willow Lee. <clears throat> um, however, she's got, she's got a secondary ID on her to a Garrett Mason. This guy's multiple flags. Garrett Mason. Violent, mental health, drugs, re-offender. He's on parole, theft and robbery markers all on him. <clears throat> There was a guy when I showed up, I'm pretty sure I saw getting out of the blue before someone else got in it. I, yeah, I didn't get told which truck was which, but All right. a guy with like a electric purple um, skull match mask. Yeah, thing. that matches the description of this guy. He's got purple hair. I told hair. him to stop <clears throat> moving, he didn't stop moving. I told him to show his hands, he didn't show his hands. <clears throat> and so... Right, so he actually got out of the car. He got out the when I showed up I saw him getting out and of the black and blue truck got in. Uh, yeah, what? the truck behind us. Yeah, okay. Sure. Yeah. Of which one? Oh. one? So I went after him. Wait, hang on, so hold on, 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 hold on. So he's get he's gone out of this one, yeah? Yeah. Driver's seat. Well, all... No, whoa, 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 whoa. Hang on. Wait, so he's got wait, so he's gotten out of that black one instead. Because Az is telling me that he's getting out of this one. Oh, I no. get out of, I'm pretty sure I saw him get out of this one. Right, figure it out, folks. Right. 
We're not on about the lady, we're on about the guy. We're on about... No, but I have to tell it all. Okay. And then, you know, after she... That's Jay? the one that hit your car. I just want to know who was driving that. When it crashed, he was driving... Or she was driving it. Right. Okay. Well, originally, before, he, he was driving that one, and he was just chilling up on the hill. Okay. So it was the female that was doing all the, the crime. Okay, yeah, but he's... Because I've not been told which vehicle or who's done what. I've seen him get out of that, run up the hill. I've then held him, told him to stop moving, he's not stopped moving. And then I've held him at gunpoint, told him to put his hands in the air. He's not done that, because again, no one's told me what the fuck's going on besides people getting run over by a monster truck. And he's failed huh. to do so, so he's resisted. And now yeah, he's not so here. He didn't do anything. He was just yeah, but that doesn't matter though, because <laughs> what, going off the information that I was fed, he was a suspect at that period of time. He's been going to be detained, and he's resisted, so it's still resisting. Even if he didn't do anything, yeah, resisted. because we still have a duty. We still have a duty to ensure that he isn't involved or not, which means he would have gotten detained. Yeah, yeah, at this moment in time, him yeah, failing to he, he would be detained, Yeah, that's true. Him, for, him failing to comply is resisting. For a uh, question, yeah. Right. Like yeah. I said, I had limited information, so it would have been the same. <clears throat> right, I've just told Sam St. Fiacra now, because apparently he's being held literally across the road that he's on an LEO hold. So, as do you want to talk to him? Do you want to go over there and talk to him now? Yep. Or <clears throat> Alright, I'll let you do that. Um... So, as just to be clear, at the time of the pursuit where this vehicle was ramming other police vehicles, he was not driving. It was the lady, yeah? I don't know. You don't know? I, I literally showed up as she was getting in that, and he got out of it. Okay. I have no other details because I went to grab this, and no one said right. anything about what the colour of the vehicle was. It was just a monster truck. Right. Okay. And... People need to feed more information over the bloody radio, to be honest, because I would have... That'll if he do continued as... to run away from me, I would have tased him. Yeah, that'll do as... Wait. You see my no. situation? Yeah, I understand it, but... And other channels, mate. <clears throat> yeah. Right. Um, okay. The little boys are here. Right, we'll get, we'll get them towed out of the way then. Yeah, so he, um. he, he, didn't, he didn't run or anything, he just stayed here, and then... Well, I'm not sure he did, that's the thing. Yeah, no, I... Which I, hospital I, is he at? Say again, Az. Which hospital is he at? Especially the one across the road, San Fiacra. It's around the back oh. of Station 7, mate. Damn. <clears throat> yeah, he only had a mountain line, mate. Mm. So... Yeah, no, uh, she, she was the wild one, I think. I'm not, well, I'm not convinced that she was. I need to review, I'm going to need to review my dash cam footage to, uh, right. see who was driving, and, mate. And I'm pretty sure, uh, 81 saw it too. I'm, I'm not sure, though. Right. But. Shall I want to, any units involved in this pursuit, can anyone tell me? Uh, if they got a person description on the driver of the black and blue monster truck during the time of the pursuit, please. <coughs> right, G, I'm going to let you handle recovery. I've got to get my dash cam reviewed. Send it, Briggs. You want to get a moment? Stop by state seven. Yeah, that's just safe.
Ugh. Well, that weather's oh, lovely. Both descriptions. Which one do you want? <coughs> Drive of the uh, black truck with the blue tires, mate. Okay, he wasn't involved in the pursuit, but um, he is a uh, white male, red hair, mask. Okay. Green, uh, yeah. He was so, the he was the guy in the hockey mask. Yeah. So that that's going to be our Garrett Mason guy then. So yep. it was the female that was driving at the time that. Yep. All red the hair, chaos was white happening. female. <clears throat> the the white female was in the black on black that I called on Waste about parking in front of us. Yeah, but during like specifically during the pursuit where we were getting rammed, it was her she in was, the black no, and blue. She was. Yeah. She, no. 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 Oh, no, because she, she, I saw what happened. Uh, she jumped out of her truck after one of the deputies shot at it and jumped into his truck and tried to run in that one. Oh, right, okay. So, so basically, she <coughs> hopped vehicles to try and get away. I was watching. Right, because when I've arrived, she's been yeah. in the black and blue one, yeah? Yeah, no. Um, yeah, no, she walked. Um, she jumped out of her one after the deputy in the Camaro shot her truck to all hell and then started to flee in that one before disabling it. Right, okay. No, that's fair enough then. Okay, just, so I just want to make sure both. that... Yeah, I just want to make sure I got it. So she's the one that's caused the shit show just now. Yeah. Um, her so... and her alone are the, is the only one that <coughs> you need to be worried about. No, that's fine. It's just because I've found two IDs in the... Uh, black monster truck with the blue vehicle, blue tires, sorry. Ah, yes. So, that's what I need to ascertain. Yeah. There it is. Right, okay, no, no worries. Yep. Charlie, one, two, four, nine, nine, be advised. The, uh, Mr. Mason is going to be, uh, free, free to go at this time. Hello. All right, appreciate Photographic it. Photographic memory helps. It does. Appreciate it, thank you. Yep. <clears throat> Charlie one, can uh, someone help me put a uh, notify pillbox medical center? Let them know that they have a Willow Lee who is to be placed on an LEO hold, please. <coughs> God damn it. Huh? Yeah. one, I'll be in attendance, 8048. Joe Mama, he's currently Four singing like 80s hits. What? Uh, How has he that. gone up there? Apparently, he's gone up the other building, jumped across to here, and I've told him to come down, assuming there was a ladder, because I didn't realize he had. Okay. Give me one sec. And then I almost. Hey, Frost, I, the road, I was literally about to say, what lane are you taking, and I'll close, it, close the lane you off. You might need to just close the entire road, mate, because I gotta get distance I so I don't hit the building. <laughs> Touche. Alright, mate. Hey, 
<coughs> yeah, my, my husband uh, has to wear earplugs if I start singing. Yeah, mate, I'm, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna I'm gonna put cones out, mate. Do you want but, me to yeah. Move my car back up then or uh can do if you want mate, otherwise feel free to help out, it's not an issue. No. <clears throat> I've got it coming towards the medic. Mm. Check him coming towards the medic. Okay. Well, that's just rude. Uh, <laughs> 01499. Drag that driver out of his car. Okay. We'll do. Come back. Come back. made it to the red light. I'm going to let him carry on. Roger, if you want to bring your vehicle back up here then and we'll uh, get full road closure on. Ladder 3, can I get a spotter please and help me settle this ladder? 354 assists, uh, assist the firefighter and get in the ladder situated please. He's singing Beatles songs. I believe that the only people, the only person keeping the victim distracted right now. <coughs> <coughs> Get up there. They can spot and fucking just track at the same time, can't they? I don't know. Uh, that lamppost is in the road. You can extend. You go. Yeah. Is the ladder raised up enough? Because from my point of view, it is not. Well, I don't know from this angle. It's very awkward. Charlie 1 is not. You're going to need to aim it higher. Be advised, this is as high as I can get it to aim currently. <sighs> Roger. 499. Swap with 354. 354, I'm going to need you to do a eastbound lane closure, please, on Espucci Boulevard. <clears throat> right, we'll get very you. annoying. <laughs> yeah, get for, if you get, so you're straddling uh, these two lanes, mate. And then you might have Another the reach video. from there. <coughs> Shield. Where is he? Right Come here, on. Jay. Oh. Okay. Really? Can you sing for me? I'm bad at singing. I'm you can sorry. see a big, bright ass red nah, truck, and yet you're gonna. I can't just will defend myself! Come towards it. Uh, well done. Off. Wow. One on one, are you okay? I can find apparently, you! Apparently, know. apparently not. Can we get more LEO? Please. The other says D Sheriff that went the wrong way. So you know Queen? Yeah. <coughs> G, I need an eastbound lane closure on Vespucci Boulevard, please. I need you over here. 10 4. Wrong side. <sighs> G, the other intersection. G, those are westbound lanes, buddy. <clears throat> Alright, get, get those lanes blocked off there, G. Alright. Ladder, you're not gonna make it from that angle either. Like 
Right, lad, I'm going to get you situated further forwards towards me, please. Just carry on singing to me. Um, Any music, just pick a genre and go with it. Um, Do you like heavy metal? <laughs> What you doing? Oh, oh, just God damn it! One on one on one. I'm gonna keep my distance. Just carry on occupying the individual. Right, ladder seven. Nose up towards me, please. <laughs> No, 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 no. Swear to God. Can we move it along someday? Right. Frost. Right. Bring it. Right. Frost. You're no. Right. I need you straight. Like, straight as you are. But, like, as I'm facing it. So, push that white. Push that white car out the way if you need to. Ah, but, yeah. <clears throat> Like Frost facing me, but just in front of me, mate. So bump that white car out the way if you need to. Alright, keep backing it up, Frost. Yeah, no, Frost, you need to be right in front of me, mate, with the engine. So move. Yeah, move it over. There you go. There we go. Right. Keep coming. Keep coming. Keep coming. Keep coming. All right. No, just keep singing. Right. We'll give that a try. If not, we might need to pull you further forward, but that should be good. <coughs> All right, Frost, extend the ladder out. Which other one? I'm going to move up to the ladder. I think we should be good here. just trying. Frost, keep extending the ladder out if you can, mate. I'm normally good with singing, singing a song, I can't. So, as much as it's going up. Yep. <sighs> Alright, okay, hang on. Don't worry, we're figuring this out. <sighs> Here, Frost, do you mind if I extend the ladder, please? Because I don't think it's quite at full length on my... No, on it's my all the way fully extended on my end, mate. I can't push... It? I'm pushing the button and it's not going any further. Uh, fucking it, hell. Look, it might not look fully extended to you, but if you yeah, want, I can doesn't. go up and take a look at it. Uh, if you want to, mate, yeah. So he's going to need to come over at least a full lane. <coughs> Yeah, see, mm, yeah. Yeah, Frost, it's not fully extended on in my eyes, mate. It doesn't reach anyway. <sighs> How far out are you? I don't know, but I'm afraid if I go any closer, I won't have the angle, but I can try it. It's already at a, it's already below said platform already, so. Oh, I don't even know, does, do we have, do the quints go higher than this? Like the mid mounts? I'll be honest, I don't do they, know. Do they? Fire, fire, eight, one, fire, one. Fire, one, good. Do our mid mount ladders extend further than the rear mounted? Rear mounted would extend further if you're going off the back. 
Echo 10 4, thank you. We're just trying to figure out because the ladder is still not long enough to reach said victim. I give up. Charlie one far one. Received. <clears throat> yeah, Frost, just Frost, stay, just stay where you are for a sec. Mm. I need to ask him if uh, ladder companies are fitted with rescue cushions, because if they are, we'll just get a rescue cushion out. Go ahead. No, they are. They would. Uh, they would. I'll be honest. We're about to. I think we're about to deploy a rescue cushion. <laughs> yeah, these these ladder trucks would have rescue cushions. Yeah. All right. Let me let me just confirm it with Briggs first. I mean, I can tell you they can, but I mean, I if you want to confirm, I confirm. I'm it. literally not sure if they are, but I'm literally telling you. But okay. Don't worry, Dad. It's gonna help. We're gonna get you down, Joe. I hope I'm scared. Don't worry, we'll get you down. Oh, Don't Jesus. hurt yourself. I, we, I won't. Yeah. Real quick, mate. Like ladder that. ladder trucks are equipped with rescue cushions, aren't they? Uh, yes. No, cool, happy days. Whereabouts are they on the trucks? Hey. Should be rear compartment, passenger side. Yeah. Cool, thank so you, mate. Just to let you know. What? We're gonna be setting something up. Right? Yeah, rear compartment, no, Frost. Yeah. But it's all your fault. But it's gonna sound. <laughs> what are we up to if I want? Weird, but we're gonna. Uh, yeah, basically, yeah. We're gonna set up a, a crash cushion that you can land on. But until we ask you to do anything. But until we <sighs> ask you to do anything, I want you to remain completely still and where you're at, alright? Alright. Fire one, one on one, what's your full full? Uh, we're gonna be 81748052 on Vespucci Boulevard in between Legion Square and Mission Row PD. <coughs> Victim's going to be approximately four stories high at this time. Temple Medic 90. I thought rescue cushions were for rescue trucks only. Joe, you just said that you came out inside the climb star. Yeah. yeah. Why? I don't know. I like did, it. You get, did you get permission from the owners of the property like we've told you before? Somewhere where you can see it. Joe, how old are you? Uh, like 30 odd. If you so know you're gonna your if you know you're gonna forget it, why not get it tattooed on your arm so you are always reminded? So I can't put it on your forehead. What? I can't put it on your forehead now. No, I said on you. You can't put stuff on me. You're not. I'm too... Why? Because you don't see me every day, do you? Can I put it on his forehead? No, because you don't see him every day. Can I put it on Lieutenant's forehead? I don't know your relation. Lieutenant, can you come over here, please, and help me set up this rescue cushion? That's up to you and her. Not in that way. 
Again, that's still up to you and her. <laughs> Again, not in that way. It's still up to you and her. Because I know she's taken. <laughs> not in that way. Why? By that chief. By the chief down there. <laughs> oh my god. I can't. Right, Yo. He's my I dad. I can't remember the thing to set up the push. Hi, dad. hell have I been listening to the goddamn radio about? We were spending ages trying to recite the ladder truck every single time because it was either the angle wouldn't go high enough and then all of a sudden the ladder wouldn't reach. It was... yeah. No, you ask. Consent. Why don't we just get to Eagle onto the roof and get him up that way? Good. Hi, Dad. Do I have to take care um, I mean, if you want to, but I think it's going to be easier to get the rescue cushion set up. I'll get, I'll get those on his way to get the helicopter airborne at least. Well, what? I'll be honest, we kind of need everyone we have on scene at the minute, Mike. I'll take my SUV to cover his charger. As I, go know, get, I can hear you from over there. Go get to an eagle up, please. We may need to get him off the roof that way. Uh, yeah, I can do that. Like now, now? 10 4. Take your car, we may actually reveal it to where you are. That's what. Night nine and route to the MRPD to grab the eagle too. <coughs> yep, that was that. Right. Hey, do you need help sites again, mate? No, it's about as tight as I can get it at the moment. I'll be honest, mate, that's not going to work. It's too... No, it's too close. Yeah. We'll, I'll be honest, we'll probably want it somewhere just offset from that those front doors. Just like this side of those front doors, slightly. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> <clears throat> Here you go. Nick, you pass me that and I'll, I'll I'll show you where I mean mate. What about there? Um literally like if you're in line with this telegraph pole here, Briggs, then I think we'll be golden. <clears throat> yep, yeah, I'd say you're bang on there, Briggs. Hey, Mike. Yeah, mate. Yeah. All right, mate. <clears throat> you've either got two. Or, a little you, bit. You've either got. <laughs> you've either got two options. All right. Is this better? Yeah. Okay. You can either. Part, you can uh, either. Jump onto this rescue cushion here, or you can make your way back up to the roof, and we'll have the helicopter pick you up. I want to jump. You sure? Alright, just sit tight and we'll let you know. Alright, have you got Briggs? <coughs> right, um, do me a favour, let's uh, get another rescue cushion just placed behind that one. Just so then we've got all angles covered. Alright. Um, hey Frost, if you check your emails, if you want to set up the next rescue cushion right next to that one. Closer to the windows. Which side of your... Per of your face does it spawn on 
or appear on. As you're as you're staring at it. Okay, cool. And I'm going to get cut and everything ready. Okay, mate. Charlie one two Eagle be advised. We're going to uh or Joe has opted to uh, jump onto the rescue cushions. Do you, it's clearly do you want me, not working for me. Do you want me to it's not working it? for me, clearly. Alright, mate. One sec, one sec. Um, okay. White, literally the same spot I had mine. Yeah, somehow I think they glitched. <clears throat> Hi, Joe. Yeah. I need you to jump off the railings that are facing that you're facing me. Okay. So those railings okay. in front of you, I want you to jump off of those. All right. When you're ready, buddy. Okay. Happy days. <laughs> I like that. Okay. Alright, buddy. Come here with me. We're going to take you to the paramedics. <clears throat> there we go. Alright, I'll get into the medic, mate. Oh, oh. Okay, oh. bye. Have you got what? You got everything right here. Oh, fuck. Yeah, Joe, over here. <laughs> Okay. Go talk to go Bye. talk to the chief. Hi, Dad. <clears throat> what are you doing up there? First of all. Uh, I was fun. There, there's another person. Wait, what? I think it was an officer. Or a yeah, go ahead. Can uh, I be reinflated? Hurt anywhere? Yes, yes. Why? No. Just saves me time getting my grapple gear out. I feel God damn it, Hudson. Okay. Cushions are, landing, Cushions are still up, mate. <clears throat> I swear to God, Hudson. <laughs> Alright, oh, check the vinyl. That was fun. Alright. There we go. <clears throat> Alright, Frost, let's get these bags down. Ah, I kinda wanna do it again. Nice one. Yeah, no. Oh. Charlie 1 2, all Elio on scene. Let's start uh, reopening the roads, please. Um, FRS, if you can, get your apparatus parked out the way of the lanes, please. What happened to this guy? He got, got in an altercation with me. Tiger. Tiger. Alright, so found him out on top of a rock structure, drinking out of that jerry can, smelled some blood, peanut butter, alcohol, and gas can't get him to let us see what's actually in it. He kept asking to see you. <laughs> and then apparently this scene went to fucking berserk, so, you know, the person with brains had to show up. Um, yeah. So. Wow. So, he asked to ride with Hudson. We came down here. He he didn't make friends with this fine young lady. Yeah, I, uh, I 
right. I'll well, take her. I'll take him home. He needs to go and get checked out if he's been drinking gasoline. Right. Yeah, that's not going on. We'll go see. But I can't. I'm not gonna sit here and keep fighting with a kid. Yeah. Ten for Africa night, Hudson. You wanna go see Dr. Brown thing? See how mine is. Yes, Tara. Is 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 he at his home or is he at the pillbox? No. Oh, okay. How about Dr. Brown? Thank you. No. I mean, he. I think Dr. North's off today. She knows sign language too. The sheriff. My sister's mute, so. Okay. <coughs> hey, uh, Connor. Uh, User disconnected from your channel. Right, we'll go for a ride. No, 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 no. I want to go home. Okay. Well, well I have my net. Well, hmm. I gotta go uh, to six for just a moment. All right, birds. Oh. Howdy. Good job, Connor. Connor, if you do it again, I'll give you uh, ten dollars. So I can't accept the money to do stuff because then I am a hooker. No, that's the, that's not how. It, it's a, it's a dare. It's not. Corporal, you wouldn't happen to be trying to bribe someone, would you? You do know nope. that it's a crime. <laughs> no. That's it's what I thought. It's a, it's a bet. It's a dare. Betting while on duty, yeah, that's gonna look good for you. Dad. Three, five, four. Show me. Uh, take giving a courtesy ride home for Connor. So Laura almost went down the wrong way. Uh, yep. Hudson jumped off a building. Mm-hmm. Uh -huh. Still going on tonight. He didn't, um, well, said I could take an unlocked Taurus, so I'm happy. Huh. No, you need to, you, there's an application process. Just because you're smarter than one of us at <laughs> some days doesn't mean that you can just join. Yeah, but there's still an application process. If you're interested, I think the LSSD is actually hiring, so... Yeah, join them. <clears throat> Be like a secretary or something, I don't know. Like I told you, I think I was, you I told last time, <clears throat> just get like a, a tape recorder. Have a bunch of like pre-said lines on it, and then just or an app, and just do that to communicate to people. You know, like, do you know why I pulled you over? You can even have it in your car. Uh, okay. Yeah, I'm gonna move the medic. Move your Taurus. <laughs> I'm, I'm going to go grab a different car because Hudson... Alright. <clears throat> Alright, are you waiting here for anything? Like, does the chief need you at all, ma'am? Or anything like that? Uh, we, um... We don't... Do right, I'm afraid you're gonna have to call an Uber or something, I'm afraid. <clears throat> yeah, you're free to go. <sighs> Interesting.
Alright guys, let's keep it moving, please. God damn it! Shield, are we clearing off or are we staying here? No, we're clearing off now, mate. <coughs> Alrighty. Who was the initiate initiating officer on this? It was Laura, wasn't it? <coughs> what for the what's he called? Pan uh, that's sorry. Liam. Rank nine clear, returning. That's Liam's character. Well, Jim will be on the roof. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, you got the verbal warning. Right. Okay. Cool. Right. I'm gonna get this dominator out of the way, and then yeah, I'm going back tonight, mate. <clears throat> Alrighty. Like spooky. <laughs> Have fun in it. I'll try. code for tonight off that last call. Make sure I'm not attached to any call. Good stuff. This is certainly an interesting series of events tonight, guys, I have to say. Incoming 911. Incoming 911. Dispatch 8145 Olympic FWY forward slash Adams Apple Boulevard 8145 Visual on him, he's northbound along the lower side of the La Puerta freeway. Looks like he's actually getting onto the freeway. Can I have units to secure La Puerta freeway, please? Is that the yeah, guy that was that... limping? Yeah, he was growling at us. 
look who's limping, so I'm like, I might, I'm not even gonna bother getting near him. Alright, stay here, keep an eye on him. I'm gonna try and cut him off. Okay. Charlie, I'm Charlie one, I'm gonna make a move to try and uh, get the highway shut off at the port, so we have uh, witnesses at the A145 location. If uh, you can engage with them, please, 499. <coughs> Is he on the highway? Charlie, one must have negative at this time. Super. Charlie, one be advised, I'm going to have uh, La Puerta Freeway southbound lanes uh, blocked off. Fire and rescue, you're clear to approach on La Puerta if you want. Stand by, he's actually heading back towards Adam's Apple now. Yep, heading towards you guys. 10-4, we're going to be on scene with, I believe, the caller. Okay, then the construction site. Ah, uh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> hmm. That's received, Charlie. Well, I'm going to have Laporta freeway held at this time, just in case he comes back. Three five four, can I have you eight one four six, please? We've got someone running about the construction site. Ten four. Uh, I'm going to be in the far south corner. Eight one four five. Charlie, one. I'm making a move up the highway on foot. See if I can uh, engage with them. Exactly how to deal with hey, that. Hey, mate, how are you doing? That's my mom. The one that's not in the Charlie, one I've got. I'm engaged with him now. Hey, mate, how are we doing? You alright? Oh, Charlie, one needs to jump back behind the construction site. Come on, Kay. What are you doing? I wonder if he likes beef jerky. Maintain this side of the wall, make sure he doesn't come back out onto the highway. Can I have you step off the wall, please? Three, five, four. I believe I got him on top of a lumber pile. And four, you don't have a lumber pile. <coughs> So they want to units on the construction site side <clears throat> due to the uh, freeway being closed if we could potentially look at at least getting him restrained and under control first and then we'll look at any medical needs he has please 
Titan IV. Going down the wall. Yeah, Charlie, wanna see him. Guys, I need I need him physically restrained ASAP, please. Try to use minimal force, but if you need to tackle him, do so to get him under control. Guys, somebody give me an update over there, please. Three five four four ninety nine is talking with him currently. <coughs> uh, fire one's getting ready with sedation. Right. Okay. If this isn't wrapped up soon, guys, I need you to make a move on him, please. I appreciate you may be a mental health concern, but we need we need him restrained ASAP so that we can let traffic flow on the freeway. Received. Until he's under physical restraint and control or in the back of medic. Thank you, <laughs> Thank you Briggs. 
Great save, thank you, Briggs. So long, let's get him under control, please. I'll start releasing traffic now. So the one to either 354 or Fire One, can I confirm it's safe for me to release traffic? That's all right, sir. So when traffic's released, I'll be returned to the original location. Yeah, received as I'll be making my way to you now to assist. They were on the wall. I requested them to get off the wall and walk away from the area. The other one, one's running, the other's on his bike, making off. Um, do we want to let him go, or...? <coughs> Are there any legally reasons that we have to detain him? None that I'm aware of at this moment in time. Uh, I say just let him go. Yeah, okay. happy. I wouldn't have spoke to them smoking, what I'm underage. Copy, I'll be back on the way. <coughs> no, but I saw you smoking. I saw both you smoke and it's on body cam. So you want to explain that to me? Hey, it's not like you probably didn't do it when you were a kid. Doesn't matter, it's illegal. And it was witnessed by a law enforcement officer. It's the law. I might be your parent, or legal guardian, whatever you want to call me, but you can't smoke in front of me. What you do behind closed doors that any of us can't see can't be actioned against. But if you do something illegal, especially in front of one of us, on body cam, what do you think I'm going to do? I can't sit by and not do anything. I'm legally required to uphold the law. Where's the other person gone, and how old are they? I don't know where she went. <laughs> I honestly don't. Do you don't. know who they are? No. Apparently, well, she said that she's related to Stevens. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. Wrong muscle. And in my defense, <laughs> I tucked myself behind a corner. I still saw you playing as they smoke. Oh yeah, that could be Kendra Stevens. One of my friends. Yeah, that's gonna be Kendra Stevens. Okay. Who gave you the cigarettes? I said one of my friends. Okay, was which it the one? Person you were with? No, it was one of my local friends, and I was gonna give them back to her because I don't like them anymore. And where are they? I don't know where they are right now. Usually, once where do they, they live? They live <clears throat> up in the hills. As I'll do an area search, but I don't think it's worth uh, riding them too hard about, Mike. Over where? Uh, to the right, over the barrier. Right, okay. You're going down towards the freeway. Yeah. Oh, fuck. How old is this friend of yours? I 
Uh, I believe it's going to be 21, but uh, Fire 1, if you could actually clarify that, please. 21. Also, a criminal offence to give underage individuals. Can I have you head to 9034, please? Come on to the Lapua to lower level southbound lanes, please. Just do an area search on your passenger side as you come on, please, for uh, a Kendra Stevens. She's going to be white female, red hair, dressed in a black crop top, black trousers. Over here, mate. <clears throat> All right. Um, Wherever she is, she'll be long gone by now. I ain't too worried about her. Oh, I'm pretty sure. I can't remember. Actually, hold on. I uh, have dealt with the full underage smoking. Who, hey, Kendra? Yeah, I gave her a verbal warning once, I actually twice, and then I, um, I think it was a verbal warning, actually. Yeah, fair um, enough. Uh, yep. Yeah, well, if I see her again, I'll stop her, but, yeah. Did you actually see her on body cam smoking, or...? I I got them both on um, like blasted cameras because cool. fair enough. Um, smoking and then obviously when I came around, it's also on my dash cam. Yeah, well, there you go then. So they're, yeah. they're screwed either way. Glasses well, camera, you can't really make out too much, but it's on dash cam, so. Yeah, I'd say just seize their fags and then I leave them be, mate. Sunday, That's gonna be a negative. No danger, thanks for looking anyways, pal. Yeah. Yeah. No. No, oh, that was what? a warning anyway. Yeah. Alright, mate. Well, I'll keep an eye out for her. If I see her, I'll let you know. Alrighty, cheers. I'm gonna go get another unmarked car. <laughs> Gotta be one step ahead of the game. That's cool. I don't give a shit. Charlie wants 499, I got her. Oh. Kendra, stay there. Found her. <coughs> How many times do I have to have this conversation with you? <laughs> Smoking. Body cam and dash cam. That was the best cop out ever. I've also already been told by her that both of you have been smoking. And she's already been having a. Mm. 
You're lucky you're not my daughter. She's very unlucky that she's mine because she's gonna get an earful when I get home as well. What have I told you before about smoking? Or fire one. Standby. What have I told you about smoking? Not to Why am I seeing you smoke? I don't know. Who's giving you them? Someone. Someone isn't good enough. I've now caught you multiple times smoking. You're underage. She's underage. You've both been caught smoking. Whoever's giving you these cigarettes is a criminal offence to do. I have a job to do to make sure that law is upheld. His name's so, Jose. What's Jose's last name? Salvador. 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 Uh, okay. okay. I am going to have two parents. <coughs> They're going to find out anyway. Fire one, go ahead. Hmm. Are you available for a phone call? Okay, so there's no person called Jose Salvador Ooh. coming up on CAD, so you're either lying to us now or... Okay. Oh, is he local? Okay. Oh yeah, local deputies around there to arrest him then. Might as well. How long have you been getting cigarettes off of him? A uh, while. How do you know if he's selling them to any other people? Are you is he giving them to you or is he selling them? Just giving me. <laughs> Even better. Do you know how many people he's giving them to? No. Okay. I'm gonna say this one more time. If I catch you again, it's going to be a whole thing of sitting you down in a room and having a full on discussion on camera of what are you, <laughs> are you telling the truth, aren't you telling the truth, mm. who are these people that are supplying you? Because this is illegal. You're under, they're held at 21 for a reason. Push comes to shove, Kendra, we could actually take you in for a possession of illegal contraband. Because you're underage, so oh, yeah, a lot of voices in my head. Can you say that again? I said, if we catch you doing it again, we could technically take you in because of you because you're underage. It's technically illegal contraband. <coughs> Isn't that um? Does that have a uh, juvie done? Yeah, I believe so. I don't want to have to call Stevens and say. Your daughter's going to juvie. I don't think the director wants to do that. I don't think anyone wants to do that. Steven yeah. definitely doesn't. No. So very sure Barry won't be too impressed either, mate. Don't smoke. It's bad for you. And like I said, they held at twenty-one for a reason. This is the last time I'm going to tell you. Where are the cigarettes you had? I threw them out. So if I search you... I won't have any promise. Okay. Because I'm one of the right minds to search you. Okay. Instead I'm going to tell Stevens. And he'll probably just flip everything upside down. And see if you got any at home. Listen, I'm gonna move my car real quick. Don't do it again. You're free to go. Hmm. Got the one code for tonight. Well, that's traffic. Oh, 
Why did I have kids? You didn't. You adopted them, didn't you? It's the same thing. Not really. I ended up with child in care. By your own volition. Yeah, I, I don't know how to feel anymore. I don't want to, like, go and be like, no, I can't deal with this and put them back in the system. But at the same time, it's, oh, she's testing my patience. Yeah, kids do that. God, I didn't smoke when I was a kid. Shit, yeah, right? <clears throat> Alright guys, as much as I hate to say it, I know the civs are going to be on fire with it tonight, but I genuinely cannot keep up. I'm starting to nod off, and I hate that. So... I'll do a bit. If I see something on my way back to DPS HQ, <coughs> by all means, we'll have a look around. But if not, I'm going to call it a night because I really am just absolutely shattered, guys. I'm sorry. Incoming 911. Yeah, I believe so. It's not got a registration plate on it either. You reference that 911. Roger, if you're good, mate, I'll make a stop on this track till when the opportunity presents itself. <coughs> Call uh, reference call log 3830. Uh, it references a man in a plaid shirt, just sold a female that looks to be underage. Um, some moonshine, apparently. Uh, 499 is on route to that location now. I'm currently following a uh, tractor. I'm currently westbound Vespucci static at Vespucci and Alter Street. <coughs> I'll be, I'll be around. Back 499. That's received. 499 101 advised the individual that gave the moonshine is the guy in the red tractor. Perfect. Right, if you can take their details as G, if I can have you towards my location, please. We're going to be static again, Vespucci Boulevard and Peaceful Street. Um, I'll wait until you're caught up with us before I initiate a stop, mate. Oh, 99 medic. Fuck, man. Fire one. Medical 9051 I got a underage female consumed alcohol unknown content. She's throwing up right now. Hey 
Got. What was your cross street again? Uh, Vespucian Peaceful Street, mate. We're just about to, uh, we're carrying on across Peaceful. We're going to initiate 1011. And we're, I'm just turning on to, uh, Vespucian Peaceful Street now. Charlie one be advised, final stop, 8070 Vespucci Boulevard in the parking lot. Charlie 12499, go ahead. Who was this thing? The individual didn't have a problem with alcohol, they just gave it to him and said it's a free sample. That's received. Is that the one making contact? <clears throat> hey, this, uh, how we doing? I'm doing all right. I had to retrieve my stolen property. Okay, dogs, no worries. Um, my name's Dr. Will Shields, San Andreas Department of Public Safety. Just to let you know, this interaction is being audio and video recorded through body cam and equipment fitted to me and my colleague's vehicle. Um, reason for the stop is we've got a 911 uh, call that's come in. A person matching your description apparently selling people moonshine or something like that. Is that correct? No, I didn't, do, I didn't sell no one no moonshine. Are you sure about that? I'm pretty sure. Okay, not to worry. Um, do you have your license on you by any chance, please? As well as any registration no. and insurance to this vehicle, please? Oh, I ain't got no license. You don't? Okay, that's not a problem. Mm -hmm. You got an ID on you by any chance? I don't think so. No? Oh. Can I take a name at all, or...? Yeah, name is Thaddeus Jenkins. Thaddeus Jenkins. Oh, okay, dogs, no worries. Mm -hmm. uh, Captain, can you run that for me, please? Thaddeus Jenkins. <coughs> yes, sir, got it. Thank you. Alright, Thaddeus, how come you're out here in the uh, city today? I'm guessing you're local of Lane County. Mm -hmm. My tractor got stolen by my cousin and told me he popped it up at the uh, booby place. So I went up and got it and I ain't know my way back and I know I can't go on the highway. This thing ain't get up at that speed. So I got to get up to uh, North Rockford Drive so I can get up, up to the county so I can get up to Grapeseed. Right, okay. No, that's fair enough, mate. Um, just do me a favor, just sit tight for us. Um, we're going to run a couple mm -hmm. of inquiries because there's there's been a report of apparently you giving moonshine to people or something like that, so we're going to need to investigate that. Um, just I before got some I... flavored water. Okay, what flavor is it? <clears throat> I got different flavored water. Alright, would you mind showing me some? It's just water, it ain't look nothing special, it's clear water. I know, I just, I'd rather just check it if I may, just so then I can ascertain whether it is actually, as you say, water or if it's something else. <clears throat> I ain't know if I got no moonshine in here, my cousin be selling moonshine all the time, but I ain't got, I don't think I got any in here. Right, okay, so... I didn't check it, I just know he stole my truck and I'd go get it. Okay, so... Well, now you're not sure if there's moonshine on board before you were like, no, there's definitely not moonshine. Well, I don't, I didn't bring any on here, but I, mm -hmm. my friends are mine. Okay. So I don't know. Right, okay. All right, since I thought this, we'll be back with you in a minute. How do you spell Jenkins? J E N K I N A. Ah, that's it. I, I was spelling it with an A. Another one, 499. Hello. Could do me a favour if the victim or the uh, RP rather is comfortable. Would you mind bringing them to A zero seven zero to do a uh, ID on this uh, person, please? I can bring one of the witnesses. Yes, please. All right, Miss Jenkins. Um, we're gonna we're gonna get one of the witnesses who's apparently reported the incident uh, down here to see if they can identify you. If you're obviously not the driver, or if you're not, sorry, the uh, suspect, then hey, you know you'll be free to go. 
Okay. Did you just say, hey, daddy? No, I said daddyus. I could already. <clears throat> What's uh what's your brother's name? My who? Your brother's name. I ain't got no brother. Cousin? I can't tell you that, man. It's yeah, he stole from me, but I can't give up his name. So he's family. I'm sorry, man. Well You I come back clean and clear, he doesn't know. So, one eight nine, go ahead. What's that? I'm coming to you. Don't know. I am coming to you with a witness. Yeah, it's helpful. Thank you. All right, Thaddeus, just getting another unit who's. Um, Got the RP, we'll see if uh, they can positively ID you. If they can't, you'll be free to go. Um, however, they might... Yeah, direct. Yeah, what's up? <clears throat> what's up, Laura? I'm not finding a... I'm not finding a uh, license on them. Yeah, I mean, technically speaking, you don't need a license to operate a tractor. Right. Technically. Um, Since more. as long as he stays on the side of the road. Exactly. The concern I have at the minute is that his story's changing. He also doesn't have a uh, number plate to the vehicle. Or in fact, <coughs> you don't have to. Uh, I think you actually have to do have you do have to have a valid registration Just plate displayed. Uh, code um, one, Delbox so. Medical, one patient. I think you do have to have uh, a valid I registration don't... plate displayed when you're using the roadways, mate. I don't think so. Why? Oh. Alright, I'll double check. It's a, it's a gray area if I recall correctly. I think uh, Michael had a run in with a tractor. Or Stevens or one of them. Alright, uh, okay. Alright, give me one sec. Alright, here we go. <laughs> Alright. Hey, Mr. Jenkins, if you wouldn't mind just stepping out temporarily, please. It's just so then we can get a clear look at you. Appreciate it. Yes. You reckon so? The answer to your question is yes. Okay, no worries. Alright, Mr. Jenkins, if you just want to go ahead, step in front of my charger for me. Uh, what the? Oh, okay, man. <laughs> Alright, um. He's having a wonderful time. Yeah, apparently. Alright, Mr. Jenkins, so uh, if you can, just uh, turn around with your hands behind your back for me, please. At this moment in time, uh, you've been positively ID'd as the person involved in the uh, incident Before. earlier. Apparently, well, apparently you've been providing moonshine to uh, no, members of the public. Three, five, Are you four, absolutely nine, sure about this? Pretty sure, yeah. Okay. Ten. Right, if One needed, um, I might search so the uh, cab of your tractor then. Over here. Ten four, what's your location? Yeah, okay. Just a heads up, is there anything... Is there anything in the vehicle that I need to be made aware of before I do search in there? Do you have a medic 50, county medic 51 and route to that? No. You sure? Pretty sure. Okay. Alright, Mr. Jenkins. Also, I want that car going. Which car? That car with the light on it. With the what? I want it going. It's a light in that car, I want them going. I'm sorry, I'm not understanding what you're saying. Something about a car. The car back there, I want them gone. What, that purple car? Yeah. Okay, any particular reason for that? Yeah, because they're a liar. Uh, well... For now, just let them stay where they are, well, and then we'll... Gone. Well, no, they can stay there well, for I, now. Before, well, until they're gone, I ain't giving you permission to check my vehicle. Okay, well, I've got reasonable suspicion to search your cab anyways. So... If you want to go down that route, Mr. Jenkins, we can go down that route, I'm afraid. <clears throat> I just want them gone, that's all I'm asking. Well, for the time Why being... Why can't they be gone? Well, because they're currently 
they're currently helping me in, in this investigation, sir. What else and, can they help you with? Well, the fact that you've been positively ID'd and a potential okay, so crime at the, the moment. Where's the rest of the help coming from? Say again? So where else are they helping you at? Well, providing me with the witness. Who's okay, saying that? and they can go now, they're done. Well, no, because if I, if I need help with anything, then they're right there to assist, aren't they? I want them away from me, but they're a liar. Well, are they... No, I'll go away from them then. I'm going over here. I'm staying around, but I'm going over here because I don't want to be near them. Okay. Laura, just keep an eye on for me, please. She is sure that it right. is them, and they're attracted to both her and... Okay. Um, is that Kendra uh, again? Yes, yes. All right. Both her and Miss Lynn have said that it was someone in a red tractor. Right, okay. Um, obviously, then this drive person happens to be driving away from that area. Yeah. Um, I'm going to quickly run back because I've left the... Um, Alright, before you do... Yeah, alcohol behind, so I'm going to go grab that and... Okay. Yeah, please. Um, before you do, Kendra, how positive are you that it was Moonshine? She's under the of alcohol. Say again, sorry, you're going to have to speak up. He asked me before. He asked you. Okay, what did he say? He... He asked me, and I refused. Uh, he said, mm -hmm. Do you want some moonshine? It was me and uh, Alfie. Well, that and he asked me and Alfie, and we both said no. Okay. Nine this was girl. at the uh, B. Just to confirm, was the individual okay. behind the board definitely going to be able to back up? And then Alfie had to go. Alright. We requested a first drive from Pillbox for you guys. Right. Uh, right, go back to the scene, secure that bottle if it's still there, please, as, and then from there, uh, let me know. Or if you bring it back and let me know. Well, do you want me to leave her here? No, take, take her with you for now. Take her with you for now. Bring her back if needed, but yeah, take her with you for now, mate. <coughs> What's up, Jay? What are you looking for? Ah, uh, just looking up the uh, other reports. What, well, Mr. Jenkins? They were all on as uh, Dennis Jenkins. Dennis? What? Uh, there's a two, there's two Jenkins. Just right. one's either like a brother <laughs> or something. Interesting. Okay. Any background on the Dennis Jenkins one? I mean, uh... Oh, okay. Alright, I'm gonna do a quick search on the tractor anyways. Just make sure it is in the moonshine. Confirmed that she was under the influence of alcohol. That hit me, Received. <clears throat> Dennis Jenkins, by his uh, picture here, is a uh, clean cut, no mullet, suit. And I right. kind of person. Okay. Well, that's fine then. Um, just do me a favour and just keep an eye on our our Jenkins for the time being, Laura. Yes, sir. Also, just make sure he ain't got anything of uh, interest there. Oh, he's coming back. It smells of apple pie. Right, okay. Jeremy Jenkins, arrest. Laura? Yes. Yeah. Let's just deal with this gentleman here for the time being. Alright, Thaddeus. Right, so at the minute we got witness reports saying that. It ain't alcohol. <laughs> what do you mean it ain't alcohol? I mean there ain't no alcohol in it. Well, what makes you say that then? Because I've just had a whiff of one of those and it stinks like apple pie. Yeah, it's like... apple pie flavored water. It's okay. like a, it's. You ever heard of a placebo effect? 
You ever heard of, of like, non-alcoholic Oh, yeah. It's a non-alcoholic moonshine. And what's the point of uh, moonshine, then? That, yeah, I'm that wouldn't make alcohol. it... I can't have... I can't have... Mr. Alcohol. Jenkins, that wouldn't make it moonshine, then. it's then water. It's, yeah. Yeah. Right, well, I'm... But I can I'm... pretend like it's, it's, you know... Okay, well, either way... Oh. I'm gonna with my family. Okay, either way, I'm just gonna hold you here for the time being because I want to get some things clarified, which uh, one of my colleagues is on the way to do now. Depending on that, we'll see if we can let you go, but we will also probably be needing to take the, ma the mason jars to sample them for evidential hey, uh, proceedings, okay? okay? They're just the one that I drink, I can't have alcohol. All right, yeah, what's up, Laura? I can, I got some, some of those alcohol script tests for like, uh, uh-huh, uh, drug testing purposes. And that's right. where I go. Uh, you want me to just put one in there? Yeah, I can do if you want, mate. <clears throat> Either way, that doesn't just, necessarily mean he's off the hook anyways, because if no. that other one's but, full of mace and jars, then yeah. Oh, hang on. Okay. <clears throat> What's the crack, as? So I've got the jar. I'm about to check to see if it, uh, I was about to say, tastes like alcohol. I can't do that. Um, <laughs> smells like alcohol and also run um, for finger cleansers. Jay? Test, uh, do me a favor, test this jar first, please. And also, have you got. Have you. <laughs> Have you got a fingerprint testing kit on you as well? Do I have what? A fingerprint kit. You know, like swabs yeah. with print. Right, can Where's you get that as well? So the jar's got the moonshine in it apparently, so if we do a strip test and a fingerprint test on the jar, please. I'm still waiting I'll, for CCTV. I'll go ahead and get Mr. Jenkins prints. I'm still waiting for CCTV to load up on my um, MD2. All right, give it a whack, see if it works. All righty. <clears throat> Damn. No! Dark bag! Right, Miss Jenkins, right. Miss Jenkins, could I borrow your right hand, please? Right hand for what? I'd just like to quickly scan your fingerprints using this lantern device. Oh, wow. It's just basically a way of tell telling me you are who you say you are, and also just it has a just so then we have a copy of your fingerprints on file. Um, what we're about to do is basically do a fingerprint test on the mason jar that's been recovered from the scene as well as uh, test the contents for it for alcohol okay uh, yes oh, i appreciate that let me just put the cigarette down no you're good <clears throat> all right just do me a favor if you just put your right thumb on that section there on this device please Cool. And then if I could get your index finger and middle finger, please. Alrighty. Uh, wait, which uh, one? Which one's the index one? Yeah, tell you what. Uh, I'll, I'll do it. Alright. 
All right, Mr. Jenkins, thank you very much. Just sit tight for me, and we'll be back in a moment. Mm -hmm. Thank you. <clears throat> Alright guys, I got I got his fingerprints on. Oh, I got some prints on him. Yeah. Just double check to see if I feel the same. Okay. Hey, what the fuck? Let's check. Let's I'm like said, I'm still waiting for his theory to come back, so. Yeah, okay. I'm scanning the prints through the system and you know, there's like I don't know how many prints in our system. Yeah, now you're good, mate. Takes a minute. Yeah. Hey, do it if you do another finger do another fingerprint uh test on the jar, mate, and then give me give me the uh litmus paper on that one. Is it litmus paper? But yeah, if you give me the paper Maybe on that and I'll put that on the scanner. With my 911. Maybe. Maybe. With my uh, do you know what I mean? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I told uh I told uh told her that yeah, I'm using her trunk is not to rock the boat. Yeah, but I, think it, I can rock the Taurus. It's not exactly got much suspension. Um, you don't wanna. I don't wanna. You know, like, who knows how strong this shit is? It might like eat the paint or the wrap or whatever this is. I don't know. I just kind of went to um. Had to went. I drove on Marty. Went. Yeah, sure. And I already went to the uh, guys and asked if they could give me a tour. So I, was, I had this already lined up waiting. <laughs> I'm kind of happy with it, it's beautiful. How do you think? <clears throat> Sounds like you got an arrest there, uh. Yeah, seems it. So, so just to clarify, you want another fingerprint on the jar? I've already done it, mate. Yeah. Cool. Yeah, that's his prints matching up on the device as well. <clears throat> All right, strip. Has the strip test come back for the moonshine on it? Oh yeah. Yeah. It, cool. I think so. Well, do me a favor and Let check. Let me double check. Yeah, please. Does he have no, like... Oh, sorry. No, we're good. Does, does that have have no, like... Um, can I not be... Apparently I'm really upset with you now, Shield. No, he doesn't have any license or any of that. But in the farm trap, you don't need it. The Very gray good, area. Uh, yeah. yeah. On... City roads, though, as far as I'm aware, you kind of need to be going between two off road locations to be driving anything on a public roadway. It has to have indicators, a registration plate, insurance, and well, nope, not stuff. on a farm tractor, yeah, not on a farm. No, but that's what I'm saying, though, is he can do that off road or going between one off road section to another off road section, but I don't think he's legally allowed to drive it around in the city. Oh, I don't because know he's about not going city. between two technically, points. Of... <clears throat> sure. Technically, as actually has a point there. He has to be going I from know. one off-road section to another, and he's not. Oh, that's the thing. Anywhere near any off-road section, he can't argue he's going yeah. from one farm to another because there's no farm in the city. Yeah. There's a. Uh... You'd have to hang or like screw on. On top of which, he's uh, he's claiming that he was take he's bringing the tracks back because it was stolen from him. Well, they should have called nine one one for that. He could have also called a tow. Yeah. So 
in which case we've got a citation at least for operating otherwise in accordance with a driving license. I mean, yeah, like... Oh, actually, hang on. Let me... As far as I'm aware, if he's driving on a public roadway, <laughs> he on. has to have a driving license. Give me a sec. I don't know with the grey... That, that private farm... property, you don't... Farmland is classed as private property. So yeah. he doesn't need a license. But he's on public property and has been on public property for an extended period of time. He needs a license, in my eyes, as a traffic unit. Technically speaking as well, we've got him on operating a motor vehicle without proper identification and also unauthorised, well, say unauthorised operation of an off-road vehicle, which it is. Here we go, hang on. <clears throat> Yeah, I'm not Finding sure when it that kind of stuff. Right. Laura, do you want to take your jaw off that? I'm going to move my yeah. car. Yeah. Alright, I'm going to move my car just because I he might not have any licenses, but I know farmers do tend to have firearms on them, so I'm just going to uh, go behind a concrete wall just in case. Well, he's compliant for now. Yeah, but you pissed off a farmer, you never know. Mm, true. Right. Yeah. So I mean, operating a motor vehicle without proper identification, but yeah. I mean, I don't know. Like, I, I'm not too well versed mm. in old farm tractor. I don't need to. Right. Hang on. So I'm making another call. Right. Just to uh, check check that that the results for the jar are negative again, Laura, because just as yeah, being screwy. <laughs> yeah. The pillbox and check with. Uh. About to throw this phone. Yeah, well, by me. Right, real quick, mate. <clears throat> crunch, crunch. Right, real quick. We've got a uh, driver who's driving a tractor on the roadways, right? Now, I'm aware that he doesn't necessarily need to have a license, but as far as I'm aware, it needs to be going from one off-road location to another, isn't that correct? As long as it's going farm to farm, or farm to um, location where he might be taking like a, uh, <coughs> his grain or his harvest. Well, it's bobtail at the minute anyways, mate. Um... <coughs> Yeah, so, if he's going farm to farm, he'll be fine. He's not going farm to farm. He's saying he's collecting it from the sea because his tractor was stolen. And then he's taking it back to his place. So... In which... oh, I mean, if he's... If he... Did he pick it up from Impound? Not as far as I'm aware. I think he's picked it up from his brothers or something. He said, it, he said his tractor was basically stolen. But if it was stolen, why wasn't it reported to the police? I mean, I mean, long story short, that's gonna be your call. But he's, if, yeah. as long as he's taking it back to his farm, I mean, he's legal in that aspect. But yeah, where he's coming from makes it a little more difficult. Well, that's it. Uh, all right, mate. Leave it with me. I'll do some more inquiries. <laughs> all right, bud. In a bit. Later. <laughs> Both of them said there was an individual on the red tractor. No one call said there was a guy in a plaid shirt, and he was also seen <coughs> leaving the area of that no one call. Alright. Uh, strip test is negative. Strip test is negative? Mm hmm. Alright, it's not clear. So it's Hang confusing. On. Do you want me to go to pillbox and get Lynn's statement? Um, no, mate, I'll be honest, I'm more interested in where he's taking this tracks now, where it's come from. Um, I'm not too where worried about the mason jars. Yeah, because we've got the whole loophole about driving without a license with a tractor. If, providing he's taking it back to his, um, or well, and providing I'm satisfied with that he's, uh, not taking it, or that he's, you know, he's taking it from where he said he has. I'll just hit him with operating a motor vehicle without proper identification, so yeah. Yeah, I think right. that's... 
yeah. think everything else is coming back negative. Though. Yeah, I'm yeah. still, I can't get anything for CCTV, so... Well, that's fine then. Okay, no worries. Alrighty. Smells good. Good water, though. Apple pie. Yeah, I... I'll take her to the pillbox to see her friend then. Alright. Be safe. Come on, I'll be trying to take my pillbox. Alright, Mr. Jenkins. Good news. And some not good news. <coughs> oh. Yeah. So, what was it? Okay, right. Um, <clears throat> we're still having troubles with the CCTV in the area of uh, where the crime was reported. So, um, we're going to make some further inquiries on that. Uh, regarding the tractor, though, where, where did you say you picked it up from again? <clears throat> Marco and Stolen took it to the booby place. The oh. booby place. To uh, mm -hmm. Vanilla Unicorn. Club. Yes. Right, uh, okay. So, where are you taking the tractor now, then? Well, I'm trying to get it back to my property. Okay, and where is that Grape at? Seed. In Grapeseed. Okay, where about, where about specifically in Grapeseed, please, Mr. Jenkins? 2019. 2019, okay, mm -hmm. no worries. Got a little place over there. Alright, give me two secs. Oh, your cousin drove it all the way down here? I don't know how he got down here. I just know he got down here. Okay. <clears throat> That's a distance in a farm tractor that doesn't do probably no more than 30 mile an hour. Mm -hmm. That certainly is. Well, I can't go on three ways because I can't go to that speed, you know? Yeah. Uh, I mean, uh... Alright. Uh, yeah, the minimum speed, I believe, in this state is 45. Yeah. Right. Mr. Jenkins, just to clarify, do you have any sort of identification on you whatsoever? I I don't I I ain't sure, man. I man. Have you gone Can to you the do... DMV? No. No 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 no, hang on. Right. Do you have a photo card identification on your person or anything that identifies you? <coughs> I don't think so, no, man. Right. I never got no license, oh, I never got... Nothing like that. Never had to. Okay, right. Um, right. Oh, no, 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 no. I got, I got one thing for my, um... Because I got to get something from my farm to get the tractor, so I had to get an ID for that. Right, so have you got an ID on you? Might be in the tractor. Alright. Whereabouts in the tractor is it going to be located at? So There's going to be a little bag strapped to the back of the seat. Okay, gee, can you go ahead and check that for me, please? Mm -hmm. well, okay. Yeah. All right, real quick. Yeah, real quick, Miss Jenkins. You said this tractor was stolen. Yeah. Why didn't you report it to 911 if it was stolen? Because I knew that it was my cousin that stole it, and I don't, you know, it's just a family thing. So I'm like, all right, I'll just go get it. Okay. I ain't gonna get him hooked up because you know he wanted to go see some stuff, you know. All right, I'm with you. All right. <clears throat> um, right, I'll just advise you in the future, mate, because I'm not going to book you or do anything like that. Um, in the future, though, just be, be careful because it's just to let you know, it is actually an offence to operate a motor vehicle without proper identification. I ain't going to hit you with it today. But just in the future, mate. Oh, just give me, give me one second. Yeah, yeah. Sorry, too much noise in my head. Nah, you're good. <clears throat> uh, yeah, I didn't know that. Well, I know what I want. I don't let it stay on my nope. phone. I don't Give me one sec, sorry. Go ahead. Do you want me to get a statement off Mr. Lynn? Uh, <laughs> to 
language was the one that gave birth alcohol or actually with his kids, man. Uh, yes, yes, um, as well as that, if I can get you to try and persist with the CCTV, let LST know that if they, uh, don't provide CCTV, we'll hit them with a, uh, we'll hit them with a, uh, inspection at a later date regarding faulty CCTV for critical infrastructure. Have a hold it. any pending calls? Oh, 144, no pending calls at this time, just be advised we've got a uh, traffic stop at this time and we're looking at wrapping it up fairly shortly. <coughs> Alright. Mm. Alright. Um, also, just a, just a heads up as well, Mr Jenkins. Um, I understand that you don't necessarily need <clears throat> tractors to be registered because of their purpose but again at the same time you're not going from farm to farm so again it's I could hit you with operation without valid in valid registration all right I just need you to be aware of this I'm not trying to be an asshole about it um, but in the future just please um, well, I don't know why. go ahead Sorry, give me one sec. Hello, Mr. Lynn's confirming no identity on the mail. You can't help on the scene. I've got CCTV back. It shows him pulling up his tractor at the gas station. Wait here, Jay. He might walk over to him. They were talking for a short period of time and then he handed him a messenger. <laughs> the... That's received. Can we confirm on that CCTV that the person who was given the mason jar has actually taken a drink out of it please and ensure that this mason jar and the contents of the mason jar are likely to be what have caused her intoxication <coughs> things might be changing here we might actually have to hook him Real light, real look. How do you Jenkins? Right, okay, so he's got identification then. That's interesting because I couldn't see that bag where it was at earlier, which is interesting. Must have been shoved under the seat or something. Yeah, okay. Just do me a favor, just check check the bag. Does just just check the bag. For anything else, mate. See if there's anything else in there, because I'm not getting good vibes about this, to be quite honest. <clears throat> Alright, all right. I got you. Yeah. Alright, Mr. Jenkins. We just, we just got some new information, so we're running that through first. Okay. Yeah, go ahead. <clears throat> She does say drink out the mason jar and she does start showing things after drinking of being under the influence. Or slowly starting to be under the influence. Okay, that's for safe. Thank you very much. Okay, alright Mr Jenkins, unfortunately we're going to be have to uh, be placing you under arrest. For what? It was water, flavoured water, that's it. Right. What in that drink could no, cause can you, someone... Can you test it? Right. What in... What in that drink could cause someone to show signs of being intoxicated? Because... Literally nothing. The only thing that can cause that is if somebody truly believes there's alcohol in a drink and then they just have a placebo thing. That's it. Right. I, there's no alcohol in any of it. <coughs> right. That's it. There's no alcohol. You can test all of them. There's no alcohol at all. Right. I can't have alcohol. Well, there's too much for me to drink. Please, I'm getting some complications here. Right. At the moment in time... We... Maybe she was drinking somewhere else. I don't know. User joined Negative. We're still complying here. <coughs> right. The issue we've had is that there is definite uh, signs of intoxication um, from a blood test has been taken by the pillbox medical staff. Okay. okay On top but of... that doesn't mean that the person didn't drink somewhere else before I gave her the flavored water. There's no way of me knowing what she drank or didn't drink beforehand. There's no alcohol in any of those jars. Right. Okay. Where have you where have you given this person this mason jar at? 
gas station. Right, okay. Is there anything else in that water that you believe that could cause some sort of intoxication? Not necessarily alcohol. No, it's literally just <coughs> flavored water that you could buy at a store that you put in a mission jar. That's it. Okay, Mr. Jenkins, I hear what you're saying, but what There's I'm saying... There's nothing in there that can make somebody drunk. But, at all. Right, I understand it's not necessarily that they are drunk, okay? What I'm talking about is that there is potential for spiking now is what i'm looking at so some sort no, it's some sort of drug or anything like that that's been put in as a I solution into the water, water from the store from the mason jars, <coughs> and that's it all right call it moonshine that's it all right okay there's literally nothing in it besides drinkable cloud water all right i don't know what's going on right okay um G, hmm. do me do me a favor and confiscate the jars, please. Aye. All right. Okay, Mr. Jenkins, at this time, I'm not happy that the information you've provided me is sufficient. Okay. okay. Um, what we will do is, I'm actually going to detain you, bring you back mm -hmm. to the station. We will run a test back at the station, which will test the mason jars for all sorts of substances. Okay. Whether it's yeah, drugs, it's alcohol, everything like that. Um, the test will probably take a good hour or so, so you're going to probably be at the station for a good two hours at least. Okay. Yeah, I ain't bothered about it. It's alright. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> in relation to the tractor, we will get it obviously towed to the station that we're taking you to as well. Um, and then depending on what happens there, um, we will uh, obviously let you go will allow you to take the tractor with you providing it goes straight back to obviously your place of residence okay mm -hmm. okay that's fine all right if you want to come with me um we'll get you uh patted down and stuff like that we'll get the procedures and formalities done okay uh back at that one little car the one car with the jaws yeah the marked charger oh. all right just as a heads up as well um just because i need to as a formality you have the right to remain silent. Anything you say can will be used against you in a court of law. You have the right to an attorney. If you can't afford an attorney, it will be provided to you by the state of San Andreas. Do you understand your rights as I've read them to you? Uh, does attorney mean lawyer? Yes. Some oh, sort of le understand. legal representation for yourself. Yeah, then I understand you. Yeah. yeah, okay. And with those rights in mind, you're happy to still talk to us? Yeah, I'll talk to you guys. You guys do not Happy those. Alright, have you got yeah, anything on your person that's going to poke me, stick me, hurt me in any way, shape, or form? Because I will need that to be put, separated, and put into the trunk secure during transport. No, well, okay, I got my ladder on, man. That might, okay. you know. That's fine. You smoke? That's it, though. Yeah, I smoke. Okay. Is that, so, just your liar, there's nothing else on your person, no? Nothing that'll hurt you. Okay. Well, just anything in general. <coughs> uh, phone, wallet. Okay. Well, money in it. Okay. Well, there's, I'll, I'll take those because technically you are under detention now. But obviously, mm -hmm. you, you can have your phone call when you go back to the station if needed. Everything like that is not an issue, alright? Alright. Alright, cool. Alright, just bear with me. Mm -hmm. Right, Laura. Do me a favour, get those jars to the Spoochie PD ASAP, please. Get them tested for all sorts of substances, drugs, as well as alcohol, please. What? I'm sorry. Okay, those mason jars you've confiscated just now? Uh-huh. Um, take them to Vespucci PD, please. Get them checked right. for any sort of substances. I'm talking drugs, uh, alcohol, hell, paint stripper if needs be. <coughs> yes, sir. As do. do me a, yeah, do me a favor. Get on to, uh, get back onto the CCTV. See if you can backtrack the reporting party's, uh, whereabouts before uh, the interaction where they basically yeah. oh hello Ow. do um backtrack where the reporting party came from see if they've actually come from any establishment that sells alcohol just to be on the safe side please mate <clears throat> can do oh, cheers my. mate no <clears throat> Alright mate, just go ahead, put your phone, wallet, everything like that into this bag for me, please. There you go. Thank you very much. 
Okay, right. Last step this way. Alright, Mr. Jenkins, come step this way, please. I won't put you in cuffs because you're being compliant, but I'll need to seat you in the back of my car. Alright. Miss Jenkins, just come over. Come over to my car, please. Alright, I'm just going to seat you. I'm not going to put you in cuffs because you're being compliant, but yeah. Alright, there you go. Just mind your head. <laughs> so just want to make as so I just, yeah uh just do me a favor sorry as well while you're reviewing cctv can you arrange county tow for this tractor to vespucci pd because that's where i'm going to be taking this gentleman can do all right thank you mate <clears throat> well, can i get county recovery 8070 for one time during color I will be advised. I'm going to be uh, code four transporting one ten fifteen back to Vespucci PD. Yeah. So how's it come about that your is it you said your cousin stolen your tractor? Yeah, my cousin. My cousin sometimes steals stuff from his farm. All right. Okay. Um, just keep in mind what I've said though, mate, because if you don't call 91, you could end up in trouble next time, okay? And g given this whole ordeal as well, I would definitely recommend against offering strangers any sort of drink or anything like that because of what's happened now as well. Even if it, the thing is, is that even if it is like just flavoured water, as you say, if you give that to, say, someone who's diabetic, and then they show signs of this, you can see where our suspicions are coming from. Mm -hmm. On top of which, we've had them taken to PBMC. They're not showing signs of uh, diabetes, but they are showing signs of alcohol in their system. Or they've actually, there's actually been a test result that's shown alcohol in their system. So. Well, then they had to drink a different time, maybe earlier or something. I didn't give them any alcohol. Yeah, no, I'm not. I'm not necessarily disputing that i'm not saying that you're lying but at the same time until we can prove um until we until we can prove a series of events um we have to we have to unfortunately take these precautions okay all right 41 bro 44 i have your subject outside the front door <laughs> That's a sweet ride you got. Got yeah. What the fuck is with these locals? I don't think that local liked this car. I don't think that local's particularly sober. <sighs> okay. All right, let's have you hop out here. Oh, hey, oh. Hell. Go ahead, Jay. Well, I have just did a uh, did all the tests I can. Uh, tests come back negative. That's received. All right, Mr. Jenkins. Oh. All right. I did. <laughs> Good news. This bag this bag is back as yours now. Um, test came back quicker than we thought but yeah there's been nothing of no no uh nothing in the jars that shows foul play so yeah you'll be you've been honest with us yeah 
sorry we had to give you the taxi ride. Yeah, you'll be free to go once you once your tractor gets here. We'll get custody sergeant to release it to you from Ty when it gets here, okay? Um, but as a reminder again, please get it straight back to yours. Okay. And I'll go ahead and I'll I'll yell at Jimmy about no more stealing my tractor. Yeah. Um just as a note as well, I am gonna put an IR2 in just to say just to basically record this as incident because mm -hmm. if there are any future incidents involving yourself regarding the tractor, then unfortunately we will start having to charge you for operation without valid registration, operation without valid in valid operation without a valid license. I'm un I understand mm -hmm. that obviously you can drive a tractor without a license, but that is under the conditions that you're driving from farm to farm, which in this case you weren't. Um, yeah, just please next time report it to 911. It's not to say that uh, your brother or your cousin, um, whoever it was, it's not to say that they're necessarily going to get <clears throat> in trouble. If you don't want to press charges, that's fine, but it needs to follow the proper channels to uh, for the tractor to be recovered properly, okay? Alright. Alright, appreciate your time. Right, um, mm -hmm. I believe your tractor's going to be on the lower car park, which is down that way. Um, so feel free to make your way down there and hopefully uh, Ty won't take too long with it, okay? Alright, you have yourselves a not, nice day, you know? You too, Mr. Jenkins. Right, I'm gonna go back 10-8, uh, I think. <laughs> Alright, appreciate you getting the jars here quick, quick, Laura. I hope there's nothing hey. quiet for y'all. Hey, uh, uh, Will. Yeah, what's up? You want to give him back his jars? Uh, that's a good point, actually. Mr. Mr. Jenkins! Jenkins. Front half, front Do you want your jars back? <laughs> I'm sorry, say again? I appreciate it. Hey, right. Mr. Jenkins, take it easy. The other one on code 4, we're going to be back tonight. Or correction, I'll actually I'll be 10 seconds with the paperwork. Send up. Well, I don't get nothing for CCTV about the caller. That's received. Uh, be advised on this occasion, there's been uh, nothing in the jars which indicate foul play on Mr. Jenkins' behalf, so he's been released. Um, I will be putting an IR2 uh, in though, in relation to this incident, referencing the motor vehicle infractions Mr. Jenkins has committed today. <coughs> oh, Jesus Christ. Jesus ah! Christ, you've got five sifts on. Oh my word.